I just got back from the bank. This is a full sealed $25 box of penny rolls. I have not opened this. I don't know if the pennies are brand new. I don't know if they're old. I don't know if they're mixed. Let's find out. This thing is not that light. I'll tell you that right now. Here we go. I have no idea what's in here. Let's get this open. And we're going to look through a couple rolls also. Also, during this video, I'm going to talk about tons of valuable penny errors. So this is going to be really useful. So make sure you watch the whole thing. Here we go. Let's see what we got in here. All right. This is exactly what I wanted. This is an entire mix of pennies. There, look, there's some newer ones in here. There's some older ones. We might find errors. Ooh, what's this one? Hold on here. You know what? Let's start the live with this one, okay? So we're going to search at least five rolls. Each one of these are sealed by Loomis. There's 50 cents in each. I paid face value. Let's look for errors. Let's start with this one, and we'll, and we'll keep going. We're going to do at least five rolls during this video, everybody. Here we go. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'm going to talk about different errors I'm looking for, and let's see if we can find some valuable pennies. This is going to be fun. And these are very tightly sealed. <laughs> and I, I mean, I just got back from the bank five minutes ago. One by one. And also, on certain coins, I'll be looking for certain errors. I will explain each one. This is a bicentennial. A lot of people think this one is worth money, but it's not. There are errors to look for on bicentennials. Here's a 1998. This is the first error you should look for. You see how the AM is touching? If there was separation in that AM, this would be over $20. This would be a wide AM. You always look for that on 1998. If the AM is touching, it's normal and not worth any money. Everybody, we have 62 likes in here. Make, let's, get, let's get that over 100. We got over 400 people watching. This is a fresh sealed box of pennies. I mean, I... Anything can happen. This box has 2,500 pennies in it. So we're going to do at least four or five rolls during this live. And anything can happen at any moment. I'm looking for errors on each one of these. Oh, here's a 2021. Some of these have um, die cracks in the W and also the T. I've sold one for $19. I mean, they're out there. I, I opened one roll and there was a bunch of them. We have 131 likes. We got over 400 people watching. All right, here's another one. So this is a 2,000 penny. Look at the AM. The AM is touching. If that was a separation, if that was a wide AM, that'd be about $25. I hope everyone's having a great day. Here's another 2,000. Check the AM. It's, it's touching, so that's nothing. Here's one from 1979. And everybody, remember, the more thumbs up you send, the better luck we're going to have. That 
That almost looks like a proof coin. 1996. It's just in really nice condition, but it almost looks like a proof coin. And there's many different errors to look for on pennies. Here's 2021. Check the letters for any die cracks. I have found that before and sold them. Nothing. Here's an older 1970. Oh, by the way, anything 1982 and older is mostly copper, and they actually sell for over, a, they're worth more than a penny. <laughs> a lot of people keep those and just stock them up. Okay, this one's pretty far gone. Whenever you, actually on every coin, so you see how the front's facing this way. If you turn it over and the back is facing the, a wrong direction, so for example, every coin the back's supposed to be facing down. If it's facing a different direction in any way, it's a rotational die error. And those are worth money also. And everybody watching this video, I'm going to be talking about so many different penny errors that you can almost make a list just from this video. So this live will be fully posted. Nightmare, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Here's a brand new 2022. We're going to check these for any type of error. It would be really cool to find a brand new 2022 error. It'd be cool if we find some wheat pennies in here. Johnny, thank you for sending that. I appreciate you. I live on the main road. That's why you hear an ambulance coming by. <laughs> and that will not be edited out. So, sorry, everybody. Here's a 2002D. Um, on every one of these pennies, you see the, there's a little FG right here. Always check to see if that's missing. Always check to see if that's missing. A little FG right there. That would be an error worth money also. We have 185 likes in here, everybody. We have 400 people watching. Let's see if we can even that out. Let's, let's skyrocket this over 200. At any moment, we can find something valuable. I mean, I, and I just got back from the bank with these, so it is always possible. Jay, thank you for sending that. Jay says, where do you sell coins you find? You can sell t coins on any online marketplace. Uh, eBay sells a ton. Um, OfferUp, Mercari. I mean, really, and any online marketplace. That al This almost looked like a broad struck error. There we go. Way over. We are way over two, uh, 200 likes now, everybody. Let's keep this going. This is only the first roll out of this box. This is only the first roll. And we're going to search at least four or five 
during this live, so. Check the AM. Always check the AM on the, on the 1980, sorry, the 1998s. It needs to be separated for it to be worth money. John says, I enjoy your channel. I subbed about a month ago. Well, John, I appreciate you. I'm glad you enjoyed the channel. I put a lot of time and effort in this channel to make it special for everybody. I think it is the largest sub channel out there. And I, I'm glad everyone's enjoying it because this is just the beginning. Whoa, this 62 is done. That thing's really screwed up. All right, let's go to the box. Let's get back to the penny box, everybody, and see which one's next. Huh. Uh, this one looks pretty old. Let's, see. let's try this one. All right, everyone. First roll was not great. Let's go to the next one. And at the end of the video, if I have any fines, I will do a recap of the whole thing. I would love to find some wheat pennies. That would be cool. Twenty-one. look for the die cracks on the letters. I have found a few already in the past. I th uh, that's damage, I think. Maybe. That actually looks... You see how the L... It looks like the crack is going from the top of the... This is a, this is, looks like a die crack, everybody. You see how the crack starts right there? And it goes through the L on E Pluribus. Right there. Also, let's see here. It looks like there's a crack on the... T oh, no, no. That was something else. I think we just found a die crack. It starts right there and goes through the shield on L. So this crack, this die crack on this penny is probably like five to ten dollars, if not a little bit more. Nice. And you all just watched me find this live. This is a good one. And again, I paid face value for this, so I just got a five to ten dollar penny for one penny. Right there. This it goes from. You see it right there? The crack starts there, goes all the way through the L. That's a great find, everybody. I mean, that, the whole box was only $25, and I just return them when I'm done. So that's the best find so far. There you go. You just witnessed, you just witnessed a die crack. That's why you got to look through these very carefully, because that would have been easy to miss. I almost missed it. Yeah, I got this from the bank. I, just, I mean, I just got back from the bank... Right before this live. And 
And that would, the one I just found would sell on eBay. eBay or honestly any online marketplace. That almost, uh, I think that's damage. That kind of looks like a, oh, I thought it was a strike through at first. Kind of looks like it. No, that's damage. Brand new 2022. All right, now here's one of the most valuable ones. So this is a 1999. And you heard me talking early in the earlier in the video about a wide AM. If the AM is separated on this coin, it's like three to $500. Always check your 1999 pennies. You want a wide AM. This one, you can see right here that the AM is touching. So this is normal. But if that's separated, it's worth money. And everyone watching this video, whether I find something or not, I'm going to post this on my channel because there's a lot of good pieces of info in here. And I've already found the die crack, so that was already worth it. And everybody, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, Ryan, I'm not sure if I am tomorrow. I might be. If I do, it'd be around. It would be around this time. There's a 77. Another 98. Check the AM. It's touching. That's damage. Damage. Somebody was doing a little bit of coloring on some pennies. <laughs> also, some people said they find these videos very relaxing. I don't know if you all feel that way, but some people said they do. I've done these searches before. Yes, I have found a die crack. I will go through all my finds at the end of the video. I'm, I'm going to do... Um, I think at least two more rolls. I said five in the beginning, so I might do three more rolls. Check if the FG is missing. That is an error if it is. FG is the designer initials. And if it's missing, it's an error.
2021. Also, when you're looking through the pennies, everybody, if it, if it looks like the numbers and letters are doubled, that is called a double die, and they're usually worth some very good money. So that is also something I'm checking for. I'm looking for any pennies that are off-center. There's lamination errors. There's a lot of different things to look for. Hey, hello, pink lady. This one looks a little bit odd. Okay, second roll down. Let's go back to the penny box. And pick up another one. You know what? Let's try a newer roll. See if we can find some brand new errors. This looks... This looks pretty new. Let's try that. Let's see if we can find some brand new errors. Older one on that side, but a newer one on this side. So let's see. We have no idea what's in here, but we will find out. Yeah, do not ever clean your coins. For 1982, everybody, there's a really, really valuable error. So if it was 1982D, if it weighed 3.1 grams and has a small date variety, it's like over $15,000. So you can even look up 1982D, small date, 3.1 grams, and you'll see, a, you'll see a major, major error. Is that FG missing? Uh, it looks like it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's just worn. Two thousand nine bicentennial penny. Ryan says, Why should you never clean your coins? Well, First thing is it destroy it'll make it a weird color. It destroys the original condition of a coin, which is what collectors want. Coins in original condition. And whenever you try to certify it, it will come up as clean. It's like red flagged. So you don't want to do that. With new coins too.
A little Harry Potter symbol right there. Nineteen ninety eight. Let's check the AM. It's touching, not what you want. TK from the USA says, question, do you sort out copper from zinc? Um, not really. A lot of people do that, though, because anything 1982 and older is mostly copper. So it is actually worth more than a penny, and a lot of people just stockpile that. Like this would actually be worth more than a penny. I probably should, but um, yeah, that is something good to know if you would like to do that. Anything 1982 and older is like, I think it's like 95% copper. The 2022. I would love to find a new error on one of these. Another 2022. Look these over very carefully to see if there's anything out of the ordinary. All right, everybody, let's do one more roll. 
I know I said five, but I am running slightly short on time, so here we go. One more roll. Hopefully, hopefully we save the best for last. There's both ends. One more roll. You never know. Hopefully we save the best for last. So everybody, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you just joined, if you're watching. This will be fully posted on my channel. I've, I've talked about a ton of valuable pennies that you can look for yourself in the video. So this will all be posted on my page. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Here we go. One more roll. We've only found one error so far, but that was a good one. And I'll show you all that again at the end of the video. You always always weigh your 1983s. Um, if, if it weighs 3.1 grams and it's a transitional error, these are not supposed to be copper. They're extremely valuable, like eighteen to twenty thousand dollars. If it if it's actually on a copper planchet from 1983 or newer. That one felt normal, but It's 2000, you gotta check the AM. It's, it's touching, so that's not worth money. If it was separated, it would be worth money for that year. For 99, 98, and 2000. Also, always check the mint marks. Repunch mint marks are like $10, 10 to $15. So, like, if you see a mint mark punched over another mint mark, that is also an error. Nineteen ninety nine. Come on, white AM. Yeah, that that would have been over three hundred dollars if that AM was separated on that coin.
Almost looks like a filled-in mint mark, but it's just worn. So th this is actually a tilted collar. See how the back is normal? But this side has no rim at all. It's called a tilted collar. It's not worth a ton. But if you find these, you could probably sell them in bulk for a couple bucks. Tilted collar. There you go, everybody. All right, last couple pennies. Hopefully we saved the best for last. Let's see. All right, well, wasn't the best hunt ever, but we did we did find a die crack going through the L on E Pluribus through here on a 2021 penny. I've sold a die crack 2021 for $19, and I paid a penny for this, so that was a really good find. And you witnessed a tilted collar. See, there's no rim on this side, and there's a full rim on this side. Tilted collar. Two pretty cool finds. Either way, everybody, I still have a lot of penny rolls left. I'll do another hunt sometime soon. This video will be posted on the channel. And if you um, scroll back through the video, there's tons of bits of information in here that'll be really helpful when you're, when you're looking through your pennies or if you go to the bank and get a box or something like that. So I hope everyone enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll, uh, I'll be live and posting a video sometime soon. Okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you.